Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. Does pain inhibit movement? That's the question that I was really wrestling with for a while. And why? It's because I have been having this pain, which I first thought was my lower back. But after a little diagnosis from my doctor girlfriend, it turns out it is sacroiliac SI joint pain. And uh, it was definitely affecting my lifts, deadlift more than anything. It did hurt me when I was doing squats, but I don't think so any pain can keep me away from squatting. <laughs> so uh, I never concluded that pain inhibits your movement, but that is what we see all across from many people. Whenever their body starts hurting, they stop doing that thing altogether. They stop moving in that way. And when pain happens, you are a different person. First of all, you're not happy and many doubts come into your mind. So I would say that pain limits our movement. If you can think of pain as, if you can personify it as a devil, as a bad guy, that bad guy who gives you this really unpleasant feeling we call the pain, which was there in my lower back slash sacral iliac joint. So with this devil, is saying, don't move, don't move. And you say, okay, how about if I can't do deadlift, can I do light deadlift? He says, yeah. And you do that light deadlift, which is what I did. And that guy sends you a little lesser pain, not the full intense pain. I said, okay. And then you go, can I do some rack pulls, which are not full deadlift? Yeah, fine, no worries. And it hurts a little bit lesser. You're still moving. You're still moving very similar to deadlift. Then you say, okay, can I do some uh, deficit deadlift very light? Fine. He goes, fine, no worries. You can do that. And becoming friends with this devil, this provider of the unpleasant feeling. And then you go, how about Romanian deadlift? He goes, okay, fine. And four, five, six weeks goes by and this guy becomes your friend and there's a lot less messages from him. There is a lot less of this unpleasant feeling. And then you go, cool, we're becoming known to each other. Let's, can I back to, can I go back to deadlifts? Okay, light deadlifts. And soon you are back, your friends with this devil and he stops providing you pain because he rewards you for your unrelenting attitude of not giving up and working through the pain. That's the lesson I have learned. I have known this very well. I just want to share it with you that you have to work through the pain. But it doesn't mean go full on, all cylinders firing, I'm going to get it done, ego lifting, no. And yes, I'm sharing this with you because today after a long time, perhaps six, maybe seven months, I had gone back to my 200 kg deadlift so happy so happy so if you are experiencing pain in your movement and mostly we talk about lifting here persist with it go light change your range of motion and keep your reps high but keep moving in as closely as possible in that fashion so if it is deadlift, then you do Romanian deadlift, you do very light deadlift, you can do rack pulls, you can do deficit deadlift, you can do sumo deadlift. Yes, you can. <laughs> Same goes with squat. You can do back squat. Hurts. Okay. Maybe do partial squats. Maybe do pause squats. Box squats. So many versions of it. Make the pain provider your friend. So what do we learn from this? Pain limits your movement, but it cannot make it impossible. I'll catch you next time.